Hmm. I want to talk today about why nobody other than myself seems to talk about the golf swing the way I do. Okay, so why doesn't anybody ever talk about the golf swing the way I do? Well, because it sounds ridiculous. And it doesn't matter how ridiculous it sounds, as long as it works. And as long as it gets us into making the proper moves. Right? So the problem is that most people actually, we know what the proper moves are, and then we try to make them. But we can't make ourselves do that. When we do, we're either late or early. So what we need to do is create one simple thought that puts us into the proper position, regardless of how stupid or ridiculous that one thought is. And as I've said before, the Holy Grail thought, um, one thing that people have noticed is that in Ben Hogan's books, he describes a lot of things that he didn't actually do. Now, I think Ben Hogan knew that feel is not real. And what he understood was that just because you feel like you're doing something, such as he felt his arms were tied to his side, he wasn't actually doing it. But just the feeling of doing it is what gave him what he was looking for so all of these things as ridiculous as they might be you know um, what Martin Ayers talks about hooking your right shoe or your right toe into the ground as you swing and I mean that's pretty silly but hey if it works for people who cares and nobody knows what you're thinking. So as ridiculous as any idea might sound, if you were to tell somebody, it doesn't matter, as long as it works for you. A couple people have mentioned that they've gotten away from it, and it worked at first, and then it stopped working. And the way I think of it is, from the top, which would be an extension of this, this post if I'm up there from the top my club head should be about even with that if it was extended out now I imagine my club head is traveling straight down that direction right in linear motion I'm throwing it that way. Well, which way does the shaft end up going? It goes straight down the Holy Grail point, which that would be the ball, and we would be doing it that way. But the club head feels as if it's moving that direction. And that is exactly what we want to feel like it's going maybe 45 degrees opposite of the target, which would be over there. And so what that does for you is... You're not going to be leaning this way if you're swinging that way. So we need to be leaning this way because we're going to intend to swing that way. Now that brings your right shoulder down. And you throw the club head out in that direction. And the shaft moves straight down this direction. Across that. Well, now my shoulder's nice and low. And as... I turn because I don't let go of the golf club I'm gonna be yanked around that gets me right into a perfect impact position and the club with this driver would actually be moving slightly upward even though I sent it downward right and now you gotta remember if you try to do these things in slow motion they won't work because all of the inertia and all of these things that are pulling and pushing on your body, they aren't doing it in slow motion. So you could get to here and get to the ball and it'll go, you know, five feet to the right if you do it in slow motion. The thing is, these things have to be done at full speed. 
Um, and some of you have noticed that Mo Norman would address the ball way over here. Well, I think that's exactly what he was doing is swinging right to there and getting to the ball just like we do, nice and square, right through, hitting a dead straight shot virtually every time. Okay, so one of the things that makes this unique is that we are not actively striking the ball. We are swinging the club toward a certain point that results in the ball being struck. And some of you have heard me talk about how hitting a golf ball is kind of like a party trick. Well, that's it, is if you actively try to hit the ball, well, you're not going to do a very good job. But if you've learned how to swing the club in the proper direction, let it pull you around, the club hits the ball. We swing the club, right? So we swing the club that way. Boom, it results in striking the ball. And it's like a party trick. And also, some of you might notice that I made the video about 715, sending the club head towards 715. And that's 715. From the top of my backswing to right there, that's 715. That's where the club head's going. Although it never gets there. And it pulls me around. One of the interesting things that I have realized about this is I may have been wrong in a previous video where I said there is no pushing off of the back leg. And I'm willing to say I'm wrong, but I don't think I'm as wrong as maybe you think I might be. Because the pushing that's off of the back leg, most people would believe that it's pushing in this direction, pushing you forward, right? When actually, it's pushing this way. So if you're swinging in that direction, you're resisting with this back foot. So it's actually pushing in that direction, which really gets you around. And then the front foot starts pushing backward in this direction. So you are actually pushing a little bit in that direction with the back foot. And that's really how you get a really good, solid swing coming through the ball. What you do not want, and which I noticed that I had been doing in the Glen Annie video, was my right foot was coming off the ground too early. I'd like to keep that heel planted a lot longer and get through the ball with the heel down. So the moral of the story is, it doesn't matter how ridiculous your idea is in swinging the club, as long as it produces good ball flight. Um, now, I, I could make up some other ridiculous scenario, but what's the point? I mean, this one's silly enough, swinging the club head in that direction, sending the shaft straight that way, that's silly enough because it sure doesn't seem like the ball will go towards the target. But all of you who have tried it, you know that it does. So thinking properly, swinging the club toward the target, well, we know that doesn't work. So abandon that, start thinking ridiculously, and start hitting the ball well. Okay? Please like and subscribe if these videos have helped you at all. And uh, maybe buy an overhand golf shirt and sign up for the website so you can be notified when it launches. Thank you.